Hello everybody, it's Vortech and welcome to the 13th episode in Rising World. Today I've decided I want to get started building a general store, a suggestion by my lady friend Miss Mojo. Uh, I also have a couple other suggestions you guys have given me such as a uh, sheriff's office and things like that. Uh, I definitely want to get all of these things built because I'm trying to make a little town and I figured I, I'm going to take this suggestion because I have a couple ideas I want to try and a general store, since there's not a whole lot in the game, is basically just going to be a big empty room with like a, a counter. <laughs> so I'm going to try a couple different building things that I, I don't think I've really touched on yet and uh, I'm going to also explain a little bit of the economics behind building the general store the way I'm going to build it. So that's what we're doing today. Thank you guys so much for joining me in another Rising World episode. How are you today? Series is still kicking ass. You guys are still loving it. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Now, as I said, I'm going to be experimenting with a few different building techniques. Once we actually get into the uh, building of the general store, you'll start to see that. But I have used planks before and we're going to use planks again. Now, I built this house out of planks, and as you can see, a plank is about four blocks, three to four blocks high. Now, I want you to remember that, because here's what I've been looking at. I gathered up a bunch of stuff. Again, whole bunch of stone, whole bunch of wood, it took forever. Mining in this game takes forever, but I did it. And I have now one, two, three, three stacks, and a little bit more of logs. So I can take one log, and with one log, you can make four wooden blocks. Okay. Now, with one log, you can make four pieces of lumber, and then each piece of lumber equals one plank. So, I was thinking about that, I'm like, well, that's, that is about the same. And then I thought, well, wait a minute, a plank is taller than a block. So, because of that, I'm going to stick to building with planks, is kind of what I'm getting at here. So, we are going to craft up a stack of lumber. Uh, I'm going to go the full 64 here which gives us 256 pieces of lumber. That should be enough to start with. And then we get to pick the design, uh, the main like plank for the general store. I don't really know, there's a lot of different options here. I'm thinking something, something not too rustic and something not too ultra modern either. Um, maybe, I don't know, that kind of looks like wood paneling you'd see somewhere in the basement of someone's 70s house. Uh, this might be, oh, that's kind of modern. Okay, not a whole lot of options. I guess I'm going to have to go with something, I guess this. It's kind of dark. No, because if it's too dark, it looks like the stone look we have here. That's actually wood I made these walls with, and that's not cool. Uh, why don't, okay, we'll just do this. We're going to craft a stack of these. A stack of 64 with our 261 pieces of lumber. We're going to see how far a stack of 64 gets us here. I'm actually... Oh, I can't favorite this. Oh, we got to... We got to be careful to hit that plank every time. I've made... I've made crap with the wrong planks before. It sucks. I've decided to put the general store out here. The other thing we have to do is make a base for it out of... I'm going to use stone tile of some kind. Uh, I forgot to do that too. So let's go get that and we're going to see... Hopefully we, uh, we have enough stone to make what I want to make here. We're going to go tiles. And I want, what's a good, like, nice looking general store, generalized tile here? That looks like a bathroom tile. That might do. I could see that in a, some kind of store, I guess. Checkered. <laughs> Straight up checkered. Ooh, this one might work. All right, we're going to hit favorite on this. And I'm, I'm going to make a stack of this. Maybe a couple stacks. Yeah, we have 290 stone. I'm going to make a couple stacks of this. All right. I think that's good. I think we got some good starting materials here. And we are going to go over and start uh, laying down the foundation of our general store. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for windows. That's the, that's where we're going to get into the, the kind of new building aspects I'm looking into using. And the other thing is if I make it in line with this house... I have to make the pathway too wide, and I don't want to really do that. I want the pathway to most places to be three wide. So I'm kind of thinking maybe the pathway is going to come around a little bit and then enter in the general store. But I don't know. I don't want to overthink it. Maybe the front door will be here because I did clear out enough grass to make it so I can go from there to there. Yeah, we'll, we'll make the front door here. Doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, not a big deal. So we're going to go to about... 
How much space do we have? Like right here. I'm going to take my blocks and we're going to go... Uh, how far out do we want? We should really keep a count, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to kind of like go with what feels right. So about there. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> Idiot. I forgot to uh, right click to place my blocks. Right there. And then this way. A ways. The other problem we're having is the dirt being... Uh, well, the dirt being like it is, it's going to be kind of like risen up. See that? Blocks aren't really in there. I can fill that in with some dirt, but we'll just kind of see. Maybe I can put some blocks underneath to make it look a little bit better. So we'll just we'll just kind of play it out see what we get. I'm going to go out to about here. Ah, damn it. <laughs> out to about there. Boop. And then over this way. We only have 22 of these left. So about... Right, come on, there, cool. Let's go get the next one. There, and, oh, one more? Yes, right there, nice. So this is why I needed probably a lot more than I got here for my <laughs> for my stone. It's gonna take a lot to fill in this whole floor, but that's all right, we have, uh, we should have enough to at least do the floor, and then the rest of it is going to be planks. Now, also for the corners, I'm thinking maybe rounded blocks again, kind of the cylinders like we did on the, the house over there. Something to make the corners pop out a little bit more. Uh, but for the most part, I think this is coming along pretty nice. So what I'm going to do now is finish off the floor with some more stone and uh, then get started on the walls. All right, so I finished the floor of our general store. Had to mine up a bunch of more stone, but I did it. And now we have some pillars up here as well, marking the corners. So what I'm gonna do now is get our planks out, and we're gonna mess around with the grid a little bit. Now, a few people have said you can make the squares on the grid when you hit G, bigger or smaller by hitting plus or minus. So we can make these a lot smaller, a lot bigger, uh, a lot smaller. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep it at this layer right here, we're going to rotate this. I forgot how to rotate this exactly. I believe it's... I don't want to hit Q. I think that throws it. It's the arrow keys. No. The arrow keys seem to make it wider. Which is helpful and all. Uh, how do we rotate you again? Well, we'll start this way and maybe it'll come back to me. We'll hit G. Uh, and if I take the arrow keys... Let's see. That seems to... Huh. All right. Well, there we go. We have some giant walls right there. Let's turn off G and C. That's interesting. So, what the what the planks have done is kind of formed a uh, a big flat wall. If if I were okay, how do I explain this? If I were to shrink this plank down into this size, we would see a bunch of little slats. But now we only have a few slats. Which is kind of cool, and I'm wondering, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That that conserves planks right there, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Let's hit G again. Uh, I still can't rotate this thing. Okay, I figured it out. The way, the I don't, I don't really understand the difference here, but if you hold down a button, I don't know. You, I'm just using the arrow keys to rotate. Maybe when the grid's up, nope, still rotates. Not sure how that's working, but okay, it's just... Stuff like that in this game <laughs> can be a little bit irritating. So we have the walls there, and now what I'm going to do is come across this way, rotate these again, and I'm going to put a wall up like that. Come on, meet right there. And now what I want to do is make a front part, but here's the thing. Like, I don't have any windows at all in this store, and I really want windows. So... A suggestion that one of you guys gave me was to keep your uh, planks laying laying sideways. So if I put the if I get a plank out and go over here, I can use the arrow keys to kind of adjust. Like now it's being flat, but you can't rotate. You can only rotate it like this. I can't like topple it to its side. So putting windows is still going to be kind of a problem for me. Now the other option is to start down here. Uh, you can actually adjust the uh, the x-axis as well while you're you know placing things but again I'm seeming to have some trouble if I hold down left mouse no 
Yeah, it's just kind of strange. Like, I'm, I'm still learning how to rotate things, and I'm sure someone's, like, raging right now. Like, I figured it out, and he doesn't know. Feel free to, like, leave that in the comments on why sometimes it rotates and sometimes it just expands, uh, and I can't figure it out to save my life. It's really, it is kind of confusing. Uh, okay, so I'm just kind of, like, going in so much at a time because I want a nice big front door area. So we're going to come in like that and like that, and we'll come in like that and like that and then I think I have my three blocks in the center I have some uh, luckily I have some cobblestone left over so I'm gonna actually use this now to take the middle and make a pathway coming out of it there we go kinda connected to our pathway we already have and now all I have to do is decide how far out these are gonna come and I'm just gonna do like this there we go cool so we have I guess the basics done for the general store. Nice big empty area, just like I said. Uh, now, I can do some shelving, stuff like that. I'm not really sure. I think what we're going to do, actually, for the counter is put it in the corner. I'm going to make it out of mm, some kind of wood. I have wood left over. So, we're going to do something like that. Now, are these? This is lumber. Okay. I was going to say, are these planks or what? What's going on here? All right, so, ooh, you know what? I, uh, I I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use these blocks for the counter area. This is gonna be where the clerk hangs out uh, and takes people's money and, I don't know, watches you, if, see if you're stealing. Uh, we'll come out like that and we will, oops, we're out of. <laughs> We'll come out like that and then we'll stop. I gotta go make more of those. So, yeah, the clerk will sit in the corner here while you browse his goods and wares. And then we will eventually put some kind of roof on this as well. Uh, probably something that looks similar to that, only a little more modern looking. And I think that's pretty cool. It takes up a nice big chunk of space. Uh, we can add windows to it later once I figure out more about the controls of, like, placing down planks. That's the one downside to using planks, even though you can make a bunch of big stuff with them you're kind of stuck in terms of uh what do you call it like rotating them and getting them to behave and do what you want them to do so we'll we'll have to figure that one out it's a little bit frustrating i will say that i'm gonna come across like this oops not like that and that way we don't have to place a block in between a plank and this. The, the clerk can come in and out this way. And I'll have to put the desk... How high can I make that? See, this is a problem I had in Minecraft. Generally, I would put half slabs up here, but this game doesn't have half slabs. So I just have to make do with this really low desk <laughs> for uh, people to come up and, and buy stuff from. But you get the idea. So there we go. We have our general store. I know this was kind of a, a shortened episode shorter episode than I wanted it to be but you guys gonna get the point one big gripe I have about this game is just the amount of time sheer time it takes for me to get supplies ready for an episode I spend a lot of time off camera playing this game and it's only to collect supplies I don't get to go exploring I don't get to like build a whole lot off camera or really experience the game like that I'm just collecting materials if you guys have any more economical tips for building and collecting materials Please leave them in the comments below because I'm having a lot of trouble. I figured out the planks uh, in terms of saving my my wood, and it's working really well. I have, still have a whole bunch of planks to deal with uh, if I want to add to the structure or do anything else with them. So it's awesome to have that, but it's frustrating that I can't mine things faster. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, please leave those in the comments. Uh, any more building suggestions, things like that, feel free to leave that as well. And I will see you guys next time where we finish off the general store. Catch you later. Okay, so we're gonna skip the tutorial because you have me. I'm gonna give you the tutorial. Basically what you do is you start out, this is your pizza shop, it's a piece of crap, and you're gonna get these notifications up here. New order. Uh, you've received a new order, so we can go and prepare it. Hey, well, I'd like some...